Ever heard of the Davis-Bacon Act? Believe it or not, you see the effects of it all around you every single day. On the roads you drive, schools you attend, buildings you pass, everywhere. And we continue to see the positive effects thanks to the leaders who fight to protect it. So what is the Davis-Bacon Act? The Davis-Bacon Act is a law enacted in 1931 to combat a rise in tax funds going to projects utilizing labor trafficking and harsh work conditions that pressured contractors to pay lower wages to win bids, harming the workers involved. The Davis-Bacon Act states that contractors for federal projects must pay their workers no less than the prevailing wage in the local area for each craft. It all hinges on the prevailing wage, which is the average wage paid to similarly employed workers in a specific occupation in the area of intended employment. How is this found? The Bureau of Labor Statistics tracks the current wages of nearly every area of intended employment across the United States. These numbers are used to produce what the appropriate rates and benefits for varied levels of experience are for a specific location. That way, contractors can't underbid a project and underpay an experienced workforce in order to win a job, making a winning bid more about high quality of work than low wages. So once again, Davis-Bacon ensures that when contractors bid on federally funded projects, the workers, union and non-union alike, get the pay and safe working conditions they deserve. But wait, doesn't that just mean construction projects will be more expensive and it'll cost more tax money and therefore it'll make taxes go up? No, the overall cost of projects is lower on Davis-Bacon jobs than on non-Davis-Bacon jobs due to higher productivity, skill level, safety standards, and quality. Non-Davis-Bacon jobs often utilize low-skill workers, leading to inferior construction, which requires repairs, revisions, and lengthy delays. And that costs more money in the long run. Additionally, if Davis-Bacon were to be repealed, it's estimated that workers' compensation costs would increase by $3 billion per year, of which $300 million would be passed on to the taxpayer as increased public works costs, all because of the unsafe working conditions on non-Davis-Bacon jobs. Finally, workers on Davis-Bacon jobs help improve local communities since workers spend part of their income in local shops and restaurants, and they pay local taxes, keeping monies used to improve infrastructure in the communities they serve instead of being lost thanks to fraudulent tax practices like cash under the table, worker misclassification, and labor trafficking that is prevalent on non-Davis-Bacon jobs. So why is Davis-Bacon so important? The Davis-Bacon Act provides transparency when it comes to tax dollars going to federal projects, protecting workers against low wages and poor work conditions, communities against fraudulent tax practices, and the industry against an uncertain future. We've seen what happens without prevailing wage laws, and it doesn't look good. These are states without them, and the consequences have included lower wages and fewer benefits, reductions in and wholesale elimination of apprenticeship training programs. For instance, in Utah, apprenticeship graduation rates plummeted from 95 to 15 percent. That state now faces a shortage of adequately trained construction workers. We've also seen declines in the quality of the workforce as the best candidates find careers in other industries they find more appealing. Finally, there have been increases in injuries and deaths on the job as more untrained workers are employed. So it's pretty clear. Davis-Bacon proves that competition based on building a skilled workforce, productivity, and appropriate pay and benefits is better for the long-term health of communities and the construction industry. It's up to us to vote for and support leaders who see Davis-Bacon as a critical component to the health of our communities, our states, and our nation. Creating jobs, supporting communities, protecting all workers, that's what Davis-Bacon is and can continue to be for years to come.